Hello there, everybody. Welcome to Quarantine Cup number 113. We only had, quite possibly the last Quarantine Cup, I have to think about this. We only had uh, four people show up to play any games this week. Um, so we're just having the final two face off for a best of three at the end here. Minion Pond versus Nassau, and they saw ended up on the top of the little leaderboard, so he gets to be player one in game one. Um, looks like they've got a village torture thing going. Uh, Altar should be... I guess it's not totally dominant. I mean, there's some things to mitigate torture here, Way of the Owl partic in particular. Altar... And Bounty Hunter do to some degree as well. Goat, of course, but I think you probably still play with them just for the draw and a little bit of attacking. Um, and, I mean, it's totally possible that you can get away with not really playing with Torturers here, but um, beyond that, I guess you can just do come some uh, like disappearing money, draw to X stuff with way the owl, candlestick maker, improve, and potentially some bounty hunter stuff. Minion pawn hits the altar. Um, turn three, Nasal. Nasal actually opts for a torture first, which I think is a huge mistake. Nasal had six dollars there, but chose not to buy an altar, and that to me has got to be a mistake. Um, I don't even understand the two torture buys um, right off the bat there. You don't really have the villages to support this. They can discard one, take one curse, and then probably owl out. Um, but maybe, maybe it all works out. I think Minion Pond just has to buy a Blessed Village here, play the Goat, buy, buy Blessed Village. I don't really see. Okay, they're getting a Torture too. Um, Isala will get to Owl out here with the Wisp and play one Torture, but like one Torture here is not usually impactful, though the fact that Minion Pond doesn't have a Village in hand does make it a little bit more serious of a thing if if minion pawn can weather the attacking um minion pawn does have the games that currently i don't think i agree with the take curse but maybe it's okay i guess it's fine um i think again here minion pawn's going to just want to buy a blessed village you're really looking to build in the, the plus actions at this point. Oh, I dislike that a lot. Oh, I don't like those. I don't like the Fisherman Candlestick Maker at all. Because you really want to be able to play Way of the Owl and then some more terminals and stuff. So you need villages quite badly. Um, this isn't... Many Pond should just discard, yeah. This is the thing where the tortures are just kind of bleh. Like, for sure, I think Minion Pawn should play CSM and then Owl Out, yeah. Ten Pixies. Yeah, there are a lot of Pixies. I can believe that Pixie is probably better than one of the twos that... Um, that Minion Pawn just picked up. Okay, Minion Pond picks up the villages there. I think, I just think the curses you can handle. And I still think that. But. If Minion Pond doesn't find a blessed village in the top two, though, that'll be a little rough. Um, what 
which is not guaranteed at all. I just don't see how Nisala, Nisala needs to find a path to getting, adding some gains here. I guess you could just buy like Fisherman Pixie or something. Okay. Indian Pond does find Blessed Village, which is a big deal. Um, you're just going to play a Torture regular now. Well, I guess you can owl it. Since you don't have... Or did, does he have another one? The clean... The cleanliness here is... Pretty markedly different, at least at this stage. I don't know what here you go like CSM Fisherman Blessed Village. Maybe you take a pick. And the money stuff, the money is is a real issue here. Pretty much forever. There's just nothing explosive as far as the payload goes. I don't think you have to fight this hard for the candlestick makers, but I don't know why Minion Pond took two curses. That seems pretty bad. Cause they saw now just doesn't even play the last torture because that just helps him. Um never mind. Nassau plays the last torture even though it's like pretty clearly friendly on average. That's not a good. Um I don't I don't think playing that last torture made any sense at all. The only place where it hurts Minion Pawn is if Minion Pawn has like altar in hand already, but they'll just alter at the end of their turn. So that was pretty bad. Um I guess you're defending against a Sky's Gift. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe Minion Pun should have taken Sky's Gift. Don't have a lot of money. Nobody has a lot of money. It's, there's not super easy ways to get money. I can believe that that should have been a take on the... Um, some of this is being played too quickly. Like, why would you not owl? You have, uh, no, that's just bad. <laughs> you had so many excess actions. You don't need a blessed village to draw one card. You could have drawn everything. You could have probably gained and played on altar too. I mean, I don't know if there's anything that nice to gain and play, but. Well, it's it helps to gain and play because then you can buy the fisherman more cheaply and now you can't I mean I guess you can by doing this but um, I I don't think that was it I mean, it's not like it's the worst thing ever but it seems not great I don't get the duchy and the province it's not like the piles are 
that close. They're not that close. Unless unless Minion Pawn had themselves lowered. Um very weird. Um but it will force Nasala to have to green some here, I think. Because otherwise Minion Pawn has a not so tough or pretty easy pile out on the Blessed Villages. And maybe we'll have that anyway. Um on Blessed Villages and Curse, because they're gonna have plenty of buys probably. I guess it's tough though to go minus four. You have to score as well. This was not a good hand. So you alter here and then you get another. I think you just take another bounty hunter with the thing. I wouldn't be convinced I could pile out here. Yeah, this isn't great. But this is on minion pawn, right? There's no. They didn't have to have <laughs> this much green and stuff. They don't owl, that's so, I guess that would have ran their actions out. I guess that didn't help, does it? Maybe I'm just stupid. No maybes about it, but that was weird. Nasala doesn't even have enough to buy province. These decks are way worse than they like have to be. Very weird. You like have all the like you have all the trashing and the exiling to like keep clean forever, but nobody nobody prepped for it. Not really. Don't just autoplay all these blessings. They're gonna I got nervous. They didn't actually do it. That's good. Okay. This is uh this is game. I do think Minion Pond played this a lot better than Nasala. I think Nasala's just buying tortures over altar was crazy. And so I I do think this was uh, deserved as far as the because Nasala drew a six dollar hand on turn four and just bought torture, which was crazy. Um, so Minion Pawn gets the win as second player, so has a chance to close it out here as first, but has a pretty bad two five. I don't know. It's it's T map, <laughs> right? Um, I don't know. Maybe you can blast off quick. It's sort of awkward though. You go fool's gold wharf, and then you go back for your sentinel. The angle of it all feels a little awkward. Nice nice shuffle for Nasala. Very, very nice shuffle for Nasala. Like you have to buy another wharf here. Town Fool's Gold, that doesn't really make sense to me. Not a great... Um, I'm so confused. Why are people just like buying towns and fool's gold? They don't have any <laughs> don't have any terminals. You don't have to win the fool's gold split. You just need like four of them. Oh my. I don't I don't agree. Wharf is a good card. This is rough on the Sentinel draws though so far for Okay, this is this is nice to reorder this. Why are people f like, oh, I have to buy all these fool's gold? You don't you don't have to do that. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Oh well. I 
I'm not, I've, they're playing a little fast for me to have someday stuff. Someday I'll learn. Um, <laughs> they're playing a little fast. I'm not totally sure what's in the decks, but, um, so I'm not quite sure what to say about minion pawns buys here, but I was thinking Den Wharf. That seems reasonable to me. Um, <laughs> minion pawns like I'm terrified minion pawns just gonna dominate just cause he has 15 and didn't draw the wharves and stuff you really probably just need a double den here so you don't draw too bad or at least one den um And it's like, you know, of course Fool's Gold is, is good here, but you don't have to pile them to start. Now we're wedding. That's exciting. I don't know if it's good, but it's certainly exciting. Based on how much money people have on the various turns, I'm going to say Minion Pawn is going to win this game. Um, the, the adding of the draw is pretty straightforward here. So that's always nice. Plays a Sentinel pointlessly, but also probably harmlessly. I don't know. No, it, it costs you two bucks, doesn't it? Yeah. The Sentinel play costs two dollars there. I think. I guess you could have still bottom decked the other town. It cost you the chance of two dollars. Um I don't really like the town over just another den. Mmm. I wasn't even checking the piles. I should have been checking the piles. <clears throat> well, will Minion Pawn have a win here, or will the points be too too much? Nobody really has enough buys to do. the estates you can't take province here right because then because Nassau had triple if I remember correctly yeah so tr that loses you can't take province you don't have enough to buy and I guess you can lower the towns and it's probably not Dangerous. I would have had to check stuff more here. I'm not sure what all the outs were, if the duchy was even needed or not. Merchant camp looks like really bad. It looks like buying copper. Um, but it's not quite that bad, but... I guess Nassau couldn't couldn't actually draw the twenty four. Probably. Minion Pawn does not have twenty four and can't really draw deck in any case.
Well, I guess Minion Pondolini is 20, and then you can just tie, and that's no, that's no good. Minion Pond's first. 22. Oh, but they they died. That's not going to help. Just doubled in. Yeah. Someone must have missed a wedding. Quick clicking. My brain doesn't work this fast. Unless I'm the one clicking. Then, well, not. Then it gives me a chance. It just usually still doesn't work that fast. Needed that needed that other fool's gold. This is like what's Minion Bond gonna get up to here? Double doesn't work. You don't even have... Do you have 22 bucks? I mean, not in this hand. Oh, no, they do. Never mind. Well, that wins. All right, congrats to Minion Pawn. Uh, this board sure felt like it was not a turn 14 game, but they danced a little bit. Not really a huge fan of the buys at the start here, but anyway, well, the start was fine, I guess the middle or the shortly after the start, whatever that spot is, not really the middle, but the the second opening, if you will all right, well, uh, congrats Minion pawn, thanks to Arnie and Nasala for also coming out and play this week, and um, I will catch you all later.